everyone, before this video starts, I need you guys to salute to the damage glitch. You need to say a good farewell. It's been fun. Hopefully you can be back again sometime. Alright everyone, we are going to take a look at the new home base status report that has been released by the Fortnite team uh, today, I think. Yeah. Alright, so first thing coming up is this week a new venture season, the Winterfest venture season is coming back. Or is not coming back, but it's coming into the game. And... Uh, Frosty Winter Swing is most modifier and favors home base heroes. Each class will gain super heroic benefits that play off their current playstyle. So that means that headshot damage is doubled and you'll benefit from reduced cooldowns when eliminating husks with ranged weapons. Sling bullets and grenades to your heart's desire. And... For constructors, you'll have reduced building and repair costs, and reduced cooldowns when triggering, triggering kinetic overload. For ninjas, a healthy blend of melee and ability. Weaving will be the key to this modifier. Focus your efforts on ability eliminations to gain increased melee damage and attack speed. Use that to your advantage as melee eliminations also reduce your ability cooldowns. And... You'll also gain double the Shadow Stance stats, so get in their faces and show them who's boss. Outlanders, uh, Anti-Material Charge will have no cost during this venture season. So, for anybody who uses Teddy, you'll benefit from a free fragment every 50 seconds along with increased ability damage. So, if you want to do, like, farming adventures, Anti-Material Charge is just free. And that's, that's pretty fucking broken. Um, husks more resistant to weapon and trap damage. Healthy money heroes. Uh, no, this one of season. The experience required to complete this season has been significantly reduced. Okay, so that probably means something along the lines of... It won't take as long to get to level 50 adventures. Alright, and... Another thing coming into the game is a new pack that you can purchase in the, like, v buck shop, where it's called the Powerhouse Pack, and it will be introduced tomorrow on the 19th, and it replaces the Samurai Scrapper Pack, and it'll introduce this hero, a the Electroshock Weapon, a Power Pack Back Bling, some challenges for V-Bucks, and... Uh, yeah, you could earn a thousand V-Bucks and a thousand X-Ray tickets. X-Ray tickets are just things you can buy llamas with if you have enough. And it says this co the cosmetic item will be shared through Battle Rail, Sailor on Creative Game Modes. This pack series will have no impact on existing Founder Daily Login Rewards or their V-Bucks earned, which is exclusive to Early Access Founders. Oh. I don't even know if I'm going to get this for free or not. Probably not. But beginning on November 20th, Frost Knight is coming back. Which is pretty fucking pumped. I'm pumped for this. And as the burner health decreases, you got to fill her up with blue glow. And the Krampus Smashers who dwell in these cold regions are, are dangerous but worth the fight. Dropping some much needed blue glow. So eliminating smashers will drop blue glow, which you use to fuel the furnace. And check your quest log for frosting rewards, such as the loading screen, music pack, and will and be on the lookout for weekly challenges. And if you don't really know what if you don't really know what Frost Knight is, basically it's like you have to defend that for as long as humanly possible. I don't know how long you have to defend it for. I don't know when it ends, but as far as I know, I will be getting a goddamn good squad, and I am going to be playing Ventures, or no, I'm going to be playing Frost Knight, and I'm going to be getting the rewards. And on November, or Friday, November, doesn't say any, it doesn't say a date, so that probably means on the 20th, because that's a Friday. 
and join the crew and invest oh wait this is a new holly jolly ransom i guess that's probably just a quest line you have to do for like crack shot or some shit and here is yeah the holly jolly ransom quest line and crack shots standard perk is firing a ranged weapon grants one stack of holiday spirit up to 50 stacks each stack of holiday spirit increases ranged weapon damage by one percent but increases weapon stability by 0.02 percent or no 0.2 percent buff removed on weapon swap or reload and the commander perk is just a little bit uh significant and that's november 20th and zenith is coming back to the shop on november 20th and his perk is sniper critical hits apply water affliction which just deals base water damage and uh his commander perk is uh sniper critical hits freeze the enemies too and then it also applies water damage too and the team perk that he unlocks is decreases duration of elemental status effects by 50%. And it requires two heroes with four or more stars. After that, we have the Ice King. Uh, the Ice King is a constructor that will be coming to the event store on November 20th. And enemies standing on structures affected by base are snared, which is like slowed down. It's kind of just like a slowing down type thing, I guess. And enemies that damage a structure affected by base are frozen. And, and each enemy can be frozen once every 15 seconds. When that's the commander perk. They can only be frozen when it's commander perk. And spread your wings with the paper shredder. Available from Frost Knight quests. The paper shredder will be available from doing Frost Knight. And then after this. Uh, Century Gunner Krampus. And each rosy elimination increases rosy damage by 4% up to a max of 30 stats. And Commander Perk will do 12%. And that's available from Frost Knight Quests on November 20th. And the new Llamas are available on November 20th, obviously, because that's when it's going to come out. And starting on November 27th, take on the Frosty Turf Frost Knight Challenge. The weather balloon forecasts extremely frosty weather for this week in Frost Knight. We're already getting cold feet just thinking about stepping on snow and slower trap reloads. And we also have tank and bouncy shield, which is up to five attacks blocked by Go and Constructor. Create a sonic wave dealing 64 base damage to enemies. And the commander perk is just buffed from that. And will be available from the Frosty Turf Challenge starting on November 27th. And my favorite coming into the game, which I know you people would like to see, is Lynx. Lynx is coming back in the event store on November 27th. So, if you get a hero voucher during before that, don't use it on Lynx. And her, if you don't know what her standard perk, team perk, and... She just increases damage while you are hovering in the air when you do Kunai Storm. And, like, you do Kunai Storm, and you will hover in the air for four seconds, and your damage is significantly increased. <coughs> God. And her team perk is, for each hero with three or more stars, recover shield equal to 0.2% energy lost. That is all of the home base status report. If you want to see, if you want to read this for yourself, there will be a link in the description. If you want to just read at your pace, or you want to save it for later, I'm sure as hell going to save this for later. But uh, if you enjoyed, just let me know in the comments anything you'd like to see, and I will see you guys in the next one.